It's your boy NOC Minutes be in the apartment with your boy Parlay. Hey Parlay, meet me at the apartment. <laughs> Yo, you already know this your boy Parlay. And we in the apartments of Parlay live. Meet me in the apartments. Listen. The streets don't start for nobody. The streets don't wait for nobody. So if you're in the streets and you're doing your thing, put you first. Put your thought first. Put your feelings first. Put your priorities first. If your partner priorities don't line up with yours, you may have to leave them. If your family priority and the thing they want don't line up with yours, you may have to leave them. You know what I'm saying? One thing about the streets, you can leave You can leave for five, ten years and come back, and it's going to be the same thing going on. I promise you, you're not going to miss nothing. So if you're watching this and you're coming up in the streets and you're doing your thing and you get in a situation where you're like, ah, you know what, I'm with my partner, my bros, but I ain't really trying to do this right here, tell them. Hey, man, I ain't rocking with y'all this time. You know what I'm saying? And if they can't understand you and your decision making and your process for thinking, you know what I'm saying? They might not be the ones for you. You know what I'm saying? I always like to say, it's okay with being Trey. Trey from Boys in the Hood. For you know, for everybody who watching who ain't never watched Men's Society, I mean, uh, not Men's Society, but Boys in the Hood, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's the part on that if they're going to ride on some nigga, right? And goddamn Trey say, let me out the car. I ain't going with y'all. And they let Trey out the car. It's okay to be Trey. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to get into everything and do everything that everybody around you doing. Have your own mind, have your own fuckers, have your own brain. You know what I'm saying? And I say all that because um, my next guest is a person who, um, you know how they say, get in your lane. Homie don't create him a whole nother lane. You know what I'm saying? Um, just to see how he doing this thing, um, recreating, staying himself, making the music still sound like the, our culture. You know what I'm saying? But putting a different twist on it, it's a big thing for me because how we came out, how can we kind of change the sound up also, you know what I'm saying? Also him, uh, the way he do his music, you know what I'm saying? His fan base, you know what I'm saying? His whole image. I think right now, it, um, you got to be real big on, on the images you put out, you know what I'm saying? And you got to make sure that they stand for what you stand for. And I think that he really do a good, really good job of that. I'd like to welcome my next get to the show, NOC Menace. <laughs> Man, my motherfucking great. We here. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people ain't here. Dead, jail, sick, other reasons. You know what I'm saying? Yes, so to be here, we blessed. Mm-hmm. Bro, let me ask you this. I'm going to just jump straight into it. What the fuck made you do country music? Because I'm a country boy. The original country boy. Like the original, yeah, the form. I get it in like... Like like they used to get it in. You just said, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna tie it to the music. Shoes off, shaking chickens out across the, you know what I'm saying? The yard type country boy. You know what I'm saying? Fishing at the creeks with no shoes on, swimming in the pond with the gators. And then we know it's gators in there, but we don't care because we gators. You know what I'm saying? We reptiles. Hold on. So you swim with the gators? We swim with the gators. We jump right off the bridge with them. We take the chances of jumping on one of their backs, but we ain't scared though because we reptiles. They might be more scared of us than they, we scared of them. Yeah, hold on. They could do way more damage than we could goddamn do though, in that water. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, for real, for real. I think it was just me seeing when I first heard about you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, he do country music. He trying to mix it. I was like, this is going to be hard to fucking mix. You can't mix it like this right here. Then I listened to your shit. I was like, okay. But then you know how you listen to somebody's stuff? Sometimes you be like, I oh, didn't want on. Let me hear something else then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I listen to my like, he got this shit in the bag. Like, he got this shit in the bag. Then, then I seen that you don't cuss. That's is that true. something you do on purpose, or is it how how, how they just, go? That's just how I am. You know what I'm saying? Because I got a, the, one of my biggest fans is my grandma, my grandparents. You know, I don't want to lose one of them just because I cussed in the song. They they wanted my biggest motivation right there because I want to be able to have enough money where they can live their life and I can live with them. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't got to work no more. And they ain't got to work with them. So what you going to do, get a whole bunch of machines? Get a whole bunch of machines, have them work. Adam, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm gonna> ask <laughs> you this. Yeah, okay, listen, you know how you be riding down the spreadway, right? You see the little country thing, and you see the big-ass field, and you see that goddamn water machine, that big, long-ass with the big-ass wheels on it yeah. and shit. How much the motherfucker cost? No telling. You just got to get into that field, that field of thought, uh, getting a big old prop. Like right there, when you, when you see things like that, them people got acres, you know what I'm saying? So they got to make sure they acres stay clean, fresh. So that's why they get them big old water things that go up and down their pastures to keep them green. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's for, you know. And that ain't no fertilizer, nothing like that. That's just to keep it green. This is water. water. That's just water, yeah. 
don't know. I always be. I, I'm asking you. I'm asking you every country question. I want to <laughs> know. Goddamn, when I be riding by shit, what the hell? Hey, what the hell they do this for? You think it's fertilizer or something like that? But that just water coming out of the pond that you don't see. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, they got to come out of the pond and the rain just fill the pond back up. Yeah, just fill the pond back up. They got little wells in Florida where they get the water from the ground, so they recycle it. Oh, okay, okay. Well, she, let's do this. This is what I always like to do on my show. I always like to get the um the viewers and the watchers to get a chance to know who I got sitting right here. You know, so for the ones who know, for the ones who don't know, so the ones who may know a little bit about about you, let's start our way back to where you from, where you grew up at. I'm from Arcadia, Florida. You know, originally. Well, let me see. Let me start it. Well, I I started staying in Arcadia, and then I moved to Nocatee, and that's where my family, but all my family stay at. You know what I'm saying? Because Arcadia, and Arcadia is inside DeSoto, and DeSoto is just all country. You know what I'm saying? You can you can buy your ranch out there, cause that's how country it is out there. If you want to build your ranch, you got a whole bunch of cows out there. Just go ham. You know, but growing up, just seeing all that, you know, I was a football player, so I ain't think I was going to ever do music in life. I listen to music, you know, I listen to country because it ain't got a lot of cussing in it. So, and my grandma and them, they always kept me on that gospel music. So I was listening to gospel, country, every once in a while I might slide the Migos in it, you know what I'm saying? But growing up, it was pretty straight because they, they kept me out of trouble, my parents, them, and... My little cousin, they kept us around. They kept us in sports, so it was pretty, pretty straight growing up. Where's Arcadia? Where these towns at? What city is this by? That's round about like Sarasota, Fort Myers area. Okay, I just uh, live from down there too. Mm-hmm. So you see how it is down there with the palm trees and the oranges and all. I just live in Naples. Mm-hmm. I was, well, I was in Fort. I was in Naples, but I was in Fort Myers. Stayed in Fort Myers. Though. Yes, so so you see how it is down there. You see the chickens crossing the road. Yeah, no, that shit. Yeah, that shit. That shit a different type of country now. Yeah. It's a different, it's a different kind of country. See, y'all country come with, like you say, y'all got swamp water and shit. Niggas ain't got waters and ponds and alligators and all nah, that shit up there. This shit just real, it's just country dirt rolls. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, sir. As, as you as you saying, um, how how old was, okay, so when you was born, you automatically came into the family business like, oh, we got the farm already and they already doing shit. Like, So you always been seeing that shit. Always been seeing it. I used to run the chickens out my grandma's yard. Just because she had a big old garden in it. She ain't want the chickens there. So I used to start selling the chickens up to the um the men at the store. It was a store that we used to walk up to. It was like probably like a five, six minute walk. We used to catch the roosters. He used to give me like thirty dollars for the roosters, twenty dollars for the hens. For real? Yeah, for real. So you know I had to I had to keep on that. So y'all had wild chickens. Wild chickens. God damn it. And still got the wild chickens running around now. They got wild chickens. <laughs> yeah. They got wild motherfucking chickens. I need. We need some chickens. I, we need some chickens. Hey, we bring a load on. I need a load. We need a load on for real. For real. Yeah. Tell I'm, me when you need them. I'm finna tell to you when we leave. I'm dead fucking for real. I'm talking about I go out there with my, my fishing net, man. I, I, I chase them down for you. So you chase them too? I chase them down. Hold on. You ain't never caught one with your hand like Rocky? Yeah. Trapped them right in the How high it went. Ooh. Tell me how it went. How'd he caught man. one like Rocky? Oh, man. Let me tell you. How old you were when you first caught your first one? My first chicken I ever caught with my hand, I was about 13. And he thought he outsmarted me because he, he thought he was going through the fence, but he didn't get to go through the fence because he was too big, so he got stuck. And I was brave enough just to grab him. So when I grabbed him, it was over for him. I it was him. a rooster or a hen? It was a hen. No, oh, them hens ain't going to do shit. Oh, shit, they'll tell you up when they got them bitties. Yeah, they will. Especially the, 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 the cat is on the back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Take the hell out your head. I did die in line. And make it hard to grab they uh make it hard to grab their feet yeah, too. Yeah, and then when they they flopping real bad, you can't even grab them. Let me see. Pan that motherfucker. Let me see that motherfucker. Let me see that bit. Let me see that bit. He done caught that motherfucker. They nigga really catching the motherfucker, dog. They catching chickens out here, man. See, I yeah, catch the motherfuckers fold their wings back. Yeah. I fold their wings back over their feet, so I, I don't got to worry about the uh, calories on the things on their feet. Yeah. I fold their wings down. I grab their bottom wing real fast. Grab them however. Hell yeah. As long as they on pecky, you good. I'm trying to tell you. Grab that neck. Damn, you were 13. You caught it. Ran it down. Ran it down. Well, what made you say I'm just finna catch it today? Or you just try, you just say, I'm just chasing them like I used to do? Nah, I wanted to go buy some out the store, so I know if I go call the chicken and go get that $30, I was good. God damn it. <laughs> we trapping chickens. 
Yeah, we just, hey, hold up, boy. Hey, what you need? Uh, chicken dinner today? I got you a chicken thirty. Hey, I bring you a whole pen full of chicken if you want it. Nah, that's that's crazy that y'all got wild chickens like that. What what was the first job that they, they gave you on the phone? Like, okay, I need you to do this right here. See, we it wasn't we weren't living on no farm, but the surroundings we was in, you could consider it was farm because everybody that stayed around us was family. Mm -hmm. So you could basically say we all own that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was just a a regular thing, you know, waking up in the morning, going to school. You know what I'm saying? My mom bought my first four wheeler. You know what I'm saying? I used to try to skip out of school to drive a four wheeler. You know, little kids. You know, my mom kept me in. Yeah, you know, that's the country. Yeah. You Think know. about your four wheeler. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's the country. That's right out, first time. Yeah, that's, that's the country. Get my leg up. I almost killed myself. How, what happened? Oh, Tough man. let go. I had you a, jump on it. How old you were? How old you were? I had a pocket rocket, man. What, what, 380? 22? Nah, it was, it was, I forgot, it was when, the, when they first came out, my god brother took the governor off for it, and I went to go follow my auntie, and, and I ended up hitting the rock, and I, I basically laid it down on myself, mm. and skinned my whole leg up, messed myself up, that was my first wreck out. Did that did they, did they deter you from getting back on? Oh, no, nah, I still ride. Like, when I when I get back to Florida, you know what I'm saying, I'm finna go pick up a four-wheeler, 450, YZ, I'm finna get back on it, bike life for there. No, I hear you talking about it. <laughs> no, for real, for real. You can't take it out of me. No, for real. I heard you say that um, you was playing football, too. Football? Mm-hmm. All the way up to high school. For real. What made you stop? I had got in trouble. That what really made me stop. But. What you get in trouble, though? No, I'm, I'm just saying, following around the, the wrong crowd. You know what I'm saying? I followed the wrong crowd, wrong path. I ain't really know which path I wanted to take then. That would happen, you know what I'm saying? I can't really explain the situation, mm -hmm. but just know I just followed the wrong path, so I had to make me another one. No. And it was my path this time, you know what I'm saying? And it's a positive path. That's how I'm trying to promote B.O.B., you know what I'm saying, to the kids, Books Over Bullets. Books Over Bullets, you know what yeah. I'm so we can push this program where kids can be motivated to do positive things instead of doing things that go in their life at a young age. Right now in Florida, man, if you look it up, we just had a couple kids in in Arcadia. They just lost their life, gone for gone for life. Got well, it was actually three, two attempted murders and one murder. Fifteen, seventeen, they gone for life. So we we trying to get to the kids before they start throwing away their life. You know, that's why we trying to push this brand. The stronger we get it, better we know we got it. We trying to go global with it. No, that's, that's dope. Books over bullets. What made you, what give you this focus to do stuff like this? I ain't going to cuss. I'm going to promote positivity. Like, what drives that? Because it has to be something in you, something that you've seen, a way that you was raised, a motivation from somebody that you're on the scene that may say, you know what, I'm going to do this. Like, what 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 was that, that thing to make you just say, I'm going to go like this? Having three kids, man, really opened my eyes to, to what I really need to do in life and watching my dad go through things in life that, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people can't speak on, really, you know, open my eyes too, and going through the situation where I had to sit for a whole year. You know what I'm saying? My first offense, I had to sit. You know what I'm saying? I went to a level eight. You know, a lot of people can't say they did that, so that opened my eyes up to a lot of things to really sit down and take life seriously. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no place motherfucker want to be at. Yeah, no, nah, that's not where you want to be. That shit get real in that yeah, motherfucker. Get real in that. You don't want to yeah, be yeah. in that, man. Yeah, no, nah, ain't no running from that motherfucker. Talk to your people, man, when you want to, man, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't want to live that life. I know them kids don't want to live that life, but they don't know what life to choose right now because they confused. Kind of like the same, I'll come on like the same thing that you was into. Yeah. So if right. I can, if I can stop them from taking that path, let me go ahead and show them a few more paths. Yeah, give them something that, 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 that'll keep them motivated. You know what I'm saying? Start putting, like, Give them free books, free tablets, you know what I'm saying? Something that will keep them positive. Because right now they ain't got nothing positive, you know, and they ain't got no motivation. Only thing they got motivated is go outside and play. When they go play, what they go find, you know what I'm saying? Anything right now in this life. You ain't down that line, because ain't no, ain't no hiding from it now. Back then, it used to be like, you know, we stay in the country, so, you know, we don't really see a whole bunch of all that right there. They be doing all that wild stuff in the city. But social media, Everything is the city. Everything. Every, everything is the city with social media. You know everything. You know everything. 
all, all the new stuff, the new slang, the words, what people acting, how they doing it. And then and then I know that it's tough on small towns, especially because it ain't as it ain't as compact and as big as um uh, big cities. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's way more smaller. So you get smaller towns trying to do what they see a lot of these big cities doing, and then these smaller town, when you do something, they know you right there. They know your ass. As soon they see your ass on goddamn the news, on their goddamn news channel, everybody in the city know who that is. That little Ricky. Let it look right. That's look at that's how he walked right there. He heard it late when he was eight. He ain't been, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It'd be a little different. So I, I do think that um you taking this path is is something that's much needed, though. I think it's definitely much needed. Cause I, it, you don't get a lot of people that take the um the step to speak on a positive level and to promote on a positive level. You know what I'm saying? Now they'll get on here and say, put the gun down, do all that. You know what I'm saying? But don't they get on their music? It ain't they gonna be slide on them, pop, pop out on them. We got the biggest guns. You see what I'm saying? So for you to be saying and actually have music that resemble that, I think that's a salute to you, dog. You sure. see what they screaming too though. They screaming stop the violence. See our lingo is curb violence. You know, you can't stop the violence, but you can curb it. No, for sure that. You know what I'm saying? So remember that when you hit B.O.B., remember cur the violence. Can't no, stop sure. it. Can't stop your head. No, you can't stop it. You make, it make it better. That's it. Yeah. Play your part. How, how old you were when you started getting into music? Two years ago. I'm 22. I'm going to be 23, so. About so two 20, years ago. Yeah, about 20, 19, 20. Who made you want to get into music? Watching my pops and my, my sister do it. You know what I'm saying? My pops always had me in the music industry, but I was, like I said, I was a football player. So I ain't really take it serious like that. But a couple of years ago, I told my dad that I had a song. And they asked me if I really wanted to take it serious. I told him, yeah. So ever since then, we've been taking it serious. What's the name of the song, Will? And what we had named it. Um, On My Way. On My Way. But how you how you come up with a song? Did you one day you just jumped up and just said, "I'm gonna rap today," or you just heard some a beat that was just like, "Nah, it's like it's like I always wrote, you know what I'm saying?" But I just didn't know how to put my lyrics into putting it on the beat and stuff like that. That was my sister' job, you know what I'm saying? I liked it when she was like, "Hey, yeah, come come try to sing this," you know what I'm saying? She would try to get me to do it, but I just didn't know how to really put it down on a notepad like she did. So I actually sat down, took it seriously, and learned it. And my dad showed me how to punch in. He was the first person to show me how to do that. That's how I get some of my son by punching in. You know, I can't, I ain't gonna lie to you. I write my music. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what's some, wrong with? Sometimes I, hey, I go in there without a song that has been written. And when it's me and my pops, shit, we come out there with a banger every hey, time. I don't give a damn which way motherfucker call. You can write 10 songs. You can freestyle 10. You can punch in 10. You can start, you can, you can do five, half a verse right now, come back and do half a verse. I just say get it complete. It don't matter what it's like when you get it complete. I know some people who take days to record songs, like one song. I like to take my time because I don't want to rush a project, you know what I'm saying? I want to be able to feel the song and everybody else feel the song, you know, because it just ain't no lyrics I'm putting on the beat. It's something that I'm feeling from the heart. So I love to take my time when I'm doing the project. So I don't care if it take me a couple months. You know what I'm saying? It's going to come out, and it's going to be hard. But you go know I took my time on that project. You know, it's not it's thrown in there. So when I throw it out there, it's like, oh, okay. And then it's like a one-hit wonder. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like things that's catchy. Every, every time you hear my song, you go hear it again in your head. You might not hear it playing, like, physically. You know what I'm saying? You hear that but little you tone in your head. head. Yeah, everybody yeah. everybody got that little tone and shit pop in your head. You get the yeah, singing that, that shit. Pop, you go like, oh, I know. I, hey, man, what that song was that one time? Man, I know the, say you can hear the melody in your head, but you just like, I can't. And that's when you go look up, you know, see minutes, you be like, oh, that's where that melody came from. That's how I want everybody. That's how I'm trying to get to the kid because that's all it takes, that one melody tune that they like, and they go spread it like a wildfire. No, for sure. Damn, you're 22 and you don't cuss on songs. That is tremendous. Yeah, challenge myself. That is tremendous. It was just, was it challenging? Yeah, I give you that. It was challenging, but it wasn't really that challenging because I don't cuss. Period. You know what I'm saying? Every you don't cuss at all. Every, every, nah, I ain't gonna. I ain't no hypocrite. You know, I cuss, but I don't cuss like that. Yeah. Like some people, they'll go ham with the cuss word. Yeah. And I'm talking about they swore jaw would have probably been full all the way up to the ceiling. Nah, I don't do that. You know, every once in a while, I throw a couple. 10 cent in the change, y'all, because I might say something I ain't supposed to say. 
You know, that's the country way it said. If you don't say the cuss word, hey, put 10 cent in the change. Oh, shit. I'm going to be broke as hell. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be broke as hell. I'm about, I'm, I'm about, I'm about like Samuel Jackson and Bernie Mac. Ooh. I ain't lying. You would have been a, your parents would have been rich then. They would have been rich as hell. Yes, yeah, so. I would have, uh, I'd take would've. a hand pop. Fuck it. Just, you keep hitting my hand long enough, it get hard. I won't feel it no more. It might bump it up to 50 cent. No. I just, I, I just always felt like, just, I just always felt like, what is a cussing word? See, I just always felt like that. See, I'm one of them. I always been, I always been a little different. So if, if somebody tell me something, I was the kid that asked why a hundred times. Well, why? But that's good, that, though. Well, why? Well, who said that? I, I was just, and nobody could never tell me. And I was just like, what is a cussing word? It's, it, it ain't nothing but an adjective. It's, just explain something, uh, but so it's it's the same thing as saying, "Oh man, was 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 because anybody tell me what is a cussing word? How do people dictate what a cussing word is? So we don't get no, we don't get new cussing words. It's just them the cussing words, and them just the only words we can't use. However you want to take it, you know what I said. You you can you can cuss. I ain't saying you can't cuss. You know what I'm saying? No, no, I ain't saying that. I'm just saying like. <laughs> What is a cussing word? Like, what defines a cussing word? Yeah, new cussing words, Jane. Can we get right new cussing there, words? Man. Can it be new cussing words? Yeah. Oh, it's just the same old cussing words. I, I believe I'm asking everybody, though. I believe this is. This. Yeah, that was too. Yeah, I heard that. So everybody make their own cussing words up, but then you just got the universal cuss word. Like, damn, fuck, pussy, motherfucker. But they in the dictionary, though. Them, not, them words in the dictionary. So what I'm saying? Why we can't say the words? Yeah. Hey, man, listen. Hey, man, fuck the shit. Fuck the goddamn shit. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, I'm expressing myself. All right? They would just say, in America, right? We're supposed to express ourselves. We're expressing my motherfucking self. You on some fuck shit. Yeah, see, it's you. about how you say it. You see how you saying it? Yeah. It's about how you approach the situation. I can say, I can go for that. You know what I'm saying? If I you walk up to a person and be like, fuck you, nigga. They'll be like, damn, bro, what the hell? But you, you, you like, damn, I'm just speaking to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But in, in his fence, he's like, damn, you just cussed me out, dog. What the hell? You got pressure on you? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm go- yeah. And then I speak like, damn, bro, you don't go, go cuss nobody out, bro. You can't go around telling nobody, fuck you, nigga. What's up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, I, I can go, you know for that. That? I can go for that. I can go for that. <laughs> I can go for that. What was your first song that you had that you was like, yeah, I meant to do this shit right here. On my way. That first song. That first song. You know what I'm saying? We went and recorded it, and it was up since then. Everybody started picking up on it, singing it, doing it like that? Mm-hmm. We were thinking about making a little dance to it, and then we were like, maybe we're going to make another project. We are going to see about another project. It was just been projects after projects after projects since then. Yeah, been going ham. How many projects are you going to drop in these last two years? I can't even count on both my hands how many projects I got. You been dropping like that? They ain't dropped yet. You know what I'm saying? These are all unreleased. You know what I'm saying? These hits that you ain't even hear yet. And they hits. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't be told they hits. You know? So when we drop them, just know we're going to drop them right. Yeah, they talking about now, nah, for real, for real. I know you got the new single on Takeoff, right? Yes, sir. Tell me what, how, how that come about. Well, tell the people how it come about. Well, Takeoff was the... The song was really called One Day. You know what I'm saying? It was for like a motivation of, you know, to the kids that don't give up on your dreams, that your dreams go come to the reality. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just keep up with what you're doing. They go eventually give you the runway. So when we dropped the song, it was called One Day. And then Takeoff was pushing the the B.O.B. brand. So we was like, since I put that one verse in there, you know what I'm saying, curve, you know what I'm saying, start the gun violence. We named the song Takeoff because he was pushing the brand, the B.O.B., and that's what we're trying to get global. That's why you see his face, you got his name, you know what I'm saying, and B.O.B. written all over it. And you see that, that, that um, my cover photo of Takeoff, my, my hit single. I won the shit show with that song, man, so you already know it's a, it's a banger. No, for Andy, I'm gonna tell you another thing too. Watching your video, you perform great too. 
Thank you. A lot of people have good music, especially when they just starting starting out. Especially when when it's early, when they just starting out, they scared to perform. You know what I'm saying? They be on the video, they be, or they be. You know what I'm saying? I seen like the way you move and stuff. Like you look like you look like you've been doing it for longer than two years. I know a lot of people who've been doing music just for a short period of time, four or five years. Like you look really seasoned. You think that comes from you always being around music for your, your whole life? I just put in my mind, say, I'm not coming here to play, you know what I'm saying? I got a family to go be at the end of the day. So that's my motivation right there to go ahead, get what I got to get for my family so I can live life with them. And I ain't got to ever work. That's how I'm looking at it. I'm trying to be a CEO. I ain't trying to be no person clocking into a nine to five. I'm trying to be the person they clocking, you know what I'm saying, come to me, hey, boss man, can I, can I get a day off? That's how I'm trying to be. Kick back on the beach, you know what I'm saying? No, for sure, for sure. Um, you got a project you dropping? You got a project you working on? You got something, you got a body of work that you're putting together for everybody now? Because I see you keep dropping all these singles and videos. It seems like every time you do a song, drop a song, you drop a video. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Are you taking all of them and putting them on one? You letting that ride, letting all them songs ride? Or are you um, or are you um, putting, putting all these songs and working on a body of work? Right now? We just we just getting the project together. That's all like I say. We just getting the project together. We getting it started. You know what I'm saying? Coming to Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? Really open up a lot of doors. They seen that they 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 really they really love a kid here. So I love that. I'm glad I got the experience to show them that. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming. I'm be rocking out every city I'm in. So just be ready. Right now, what would you say? Give me your favorite three songs right now. Um, take off. Right and wrong, the one y'all ain't here yet, and then Country Boy Living. Country Boy Living. Yeah. I seen that video. That's one you riding around the city in the track. Mm-hmm. Uh, tell me about tell about your goddamn candy painted motherfucker goddamn uh, green track, the lime green track, the man. Oh man. And he got that motherfucker with him the, right now outside right too. Right now, right now. And I was just driving and then in the streets in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Check my page out. You'll see it. I done told you where we ride it at, man. We ride it in the city. In the country, wherever you wanted that, just call me. <laughs> nah, for real. What made you say I'm gonna get this and paint skeet them motherfucker right? Well, I know you skeet the motherfuckers Florida thing. I, I I can tell you that already. I can understand that already. But what made you say I'm gonna do the fucking track? Man, it really. My boss asked me if I wanted a tractor, and then I was like, yeah. At first, it was rusted out, and then my boss like, man, we should get it the candy paint. And man, if the dude get it running, man, we go we go spray paint this bitch. So the dude got it running. And we ain't think we ain't go we ain't, at first I didn't think it was gonna run because it's a nineteen forty nine, you know, that bit old. Mm-hmm. But it, That's antique. It's an antique. It's a nineteen forty nine golden jubilee. So he got a candy painted nineteen forty nine tractor. Come on, <laughs> Come on. I got the brand on it, you know what I'm saying, on the tire, so when you see me, you know what I'm saying, I be stunned. I go back and forth through the little lane. I drive like a car, you know. I don't, I don't look at it like a truck. I drive like a car. Oh. Mm-hmm. You can't stop me. You know what I'm saying? It, I, sometimes I can't stop me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah. okay. Made you saying that? Leave me the two. How you how you walk the two watches? All right. Oh. I know oh. that's a significant oh. thing for you. I know some people just do it for style, but I know you do it for a reason. Tell everybody why you rock two on. Oh, see, see, my reason is to let you know it's my time. It's my motherfucking yeah. time. It's so dope. Anytime I lay my head down, you know what I'm saying? I'm on my watch. You know what I'm saying? It's my time. So anytime I'm looking, I'm like, okay, that time. Okay, that anytime. Time. <laughs> anytime. You know what I'm saying? Anytime. anytime. All the time. All the time. You know what I'm saying? If I had another watch, I'd have it on because <laughs> that's another time. You know what I'm saying? Different time zone. That's how I'm looking at nah, it. No, for real. No, nah, that's to go dope. Different time zone. No, nah, that's dope. <laughs> that's dope. What, what do you. I think every artist has something. That they keep in the tuck, and that tuck is the reason why they continue to push and move forward. What do you? What would you say is your your daily motivation for you to continue to, to keep stay stay active and stay consistent? My kids, you know what I'm saying? Cause I got two of them at the house, and every time I wake up, I look at them. You know what I'm saying? Every time I play my music, they go to jamming, and that's not that's that motivation right there. When you know your kid, and then you know she only two years old. You know what I'm saying? My oldest three. 
And when you're two year old jamming to it, you know you got something. Yeah, and ain't like them kids. Them kids, the honest, most, most honest people in the world. Mm -hmm. I ain't lying. They, if they, if it vibing, kid gonna bounce to it. They gonna bounce bop to it. it. My little no, girl sure. been humming loud. You know, she can't really talk, so she be trying to sing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, that's for real. You gonna put them on that? You gonna let them catch some chickens? Oh, you you gonna put them know, on out there? You know I gotta let them out there. You know nah, what I'm go, go chase your cat. You know what I'm saying? Because we in the city, so we got cats running across the yard. So go chase your cat. Go get, go get one. Now, I'm going to ask you this. You ever been cow tipping? That's funny because, like, my dog had asked me to go do it one time, and I ain't never do it. Never did it. Why you ain't do it? Um, well, let me tell you. That's that's country right there. I don't been cow tipping before. You been cow tipping before? Yeah. yeah. You see, I'm, I'm... That shit fun. I ain't a big man. You know what I'm saying? It takes a couple people to push that cow yeah. over. Say, say about two, three. Yeah. And see, they... And in Florida, you know what I'm saying? A lot of pastors ain't got no trees, so when you push that cow, where you running at? You know what I'm saying? You got you got an open field. This cow might chase you down. That motherfucker fan, <laughs> too. Yeah, it's gonna stop you. <laughs> huh? Yeah, you They sleep standing up. You just push them over there and fall. They get over and get mad as hell. So they'll do. Yeah, I've been, I've been around some, I've been around the country, you know what I'm saying? Country thing, you know, even in the city, when I stayed in the city, uh, right there on, on Moreland Memorial, like East Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? My granddaddy had chicken coop in the back, you know, rabbits, fucking fish, snakes. My me and my granddaddy used to go in the backyard and, and shoot and shoot squirrels out the tree and cut the squirrels up, cook the squirrels. You know what I'm saying? So I don't I don't have my I don't have my share of that country shit before. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, I, I that's why I said that's why I kinda take to it. So you know about that rabbit stew and stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah, man. yeah. But you better hey, you better you better get down, you better let it cook it on low for a long time so it'll be tender. It's the same thing like dill. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Turtle, same thing. It's it good. It's it good. She ain't kind of turtle my granddad used to catch. We. You know what I'm saying? My granddad used to have cages, dog, with he have he'll have possum and raccoons in one cage and he used to feed them. My granddad real country. My granddad where he was before he died. My granddad was country as hell. My granddad used to do all that shit. Kill the turtles and shit. Shoot the sh shoot the turtles. Make it, yeah, uh, take the shell uncle, off. Yeah. My, my uncle be doing that shit. He do that to them salt shell. They love them salt shell turtles out there. The mother turtles. They don't really. I ain't gonna say they don't really like them like that because they eat them when they want to. But they don't really eat them like that because they done got dirty. You know what I'm saying? The environment is dirty now. So they don't really like eating them like that. But them salt shell turtles. You know when they ever get their hands on them, be that's like a hundred dollars to them. They sure go cut him up right there on shit, the spot. Shit, man. I only ate alligator one time. Oh, alligator good, man. You got to come to Florida, man. I only ate it one eat. time. Oh, man. And I ain't never ate crawfish before. I ain't never eat crawfish. Yeah. I ain't eat crawfish. I, I love lobster, though. I ain't never ate crawfish before. Yeah, you lost them? Yeah, yeah, I fucked lobster. Yeah, I just ate lobster today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Damn, you ain't nobody? Shit, you know what else? I should have brought you some. Shit. Some yeah, dog, for real. <laughs> nah, no, for real. Don't good. Don't good damn loss, man. Yeah, yeah. No, ain't nothing like that. No, can okay, I tell you this? All right. So, you say y'all be swimming with the fucking alligators. All right. So, when you say this, I want I'm, I'm clarity. Not for them, this for me, though. Because I just, when people say shit, I have my own vision of shit. When they say some shit, I be seeing a different movie than the nigga be seeing when they talk, talk that shit. All right. So you just saying that y'all know that it's alligators in the water, but y'all still getting that bitch. Yeah. You ain't saying like I be seeing an alligator and I'm still getting in that bitch. That motherfucker could be like thirty yards from you. You know what I'm saying? They won't bother you unless you you really causing commotion. You know, we go out on the river. They be having little sand dunes where we pull over the airboat, and they can be sitting right there on the edge of the water. And when we pull up, they just they just swim off. And if you just have fun, we still get in the water. They ain't gonna do nothing to us. And if they do, we got guns out there. <laughs> they tear them gators up out there. Hell, he'll be on the, the grill by the time you know it. Ah, uh, hell, man, I ain't fuck with that. Y'all some bad motherfuckers. Hey, hell, nah, I ain't getting no war no motherfucker. Uh, no alligator. Yeah. What's the biggest mo? What's the biggest alligator you don't see with your eyes? In my eyes, sixteen foot. God damn it! Oh, you know how big sixteen feet is? That's like the size of this room right here. Yes. The alligator this big from that wall to this wall. That big alligator is. Nah, it's probably about. You don't think this 18 feet? You think this, you think this long or shorter? Nah, it's, he, nah he, he's shorter than that. I say from wall to the door. From wall to the door? Yeah. Shit. Still wide. He just, he just thick. That's still a big alligator. Yeah. It's really like his, 
what people are most scared of is his bite. He ain't even gotta be that big. You let that motherfucker grab you and he do that spin. You out of there. Done. Yeah, but I got a couple friends that'll jump right on their back. They ain't scared of them. You gotta I'll do that, head. though. Uh, jump on their back? Yeah. In the water. Not in the water. Yeah, they do it in the water. Nah, long fuck as, no. Long as, long as it's small enough. Hell no. Nah, yeah, on the ground, I'll do it. Two, if it's like a two or three foot, they'll jump on it all day. Cause they know it's small enough. They can. How you watching all the now? You get on the back and hold that motherfucker right there. That bitch can't do nothing anyway. Yeah. What you you think do? that? You think that? Let that let, let them whip out of from under you. You know that that's why they take two or three people to take them down. It could be the smallest gator, but he could probably have the biggest pride out there. I put that I put that thing over here. Ah, he can't see. That just calms them. I don't make him stop. You know, it don't it don't stop making them being mean. That just calms them for a little bit. Once that's off, it back to go. Yeah, there's a lot of people that done did that. I snapped that motherfucker up. That <laughs> bitch chase him down. Yeah, <laughs> 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 wrong, man, bro. Nah, for real. You, you ever been, uh, what they call it, tagging? Yeah, I ain't never tagged before. I ain't never got into it because I just got to the point where I'm up in age, but I got my concealed weapon license now where I can, I can go get me my rifle and get my hunting license. I was doing it legally, but I was just really hunting hogs and stuff like that. Cause you can hunt hogs. How many hogs it is? A lot of. I was a lot of. Them. I ain't not that. I, I now I, I fuck with alligator for I fuck with one of them. With hogs? Yeah, I ain't fuck with them hogs. I mean, I go out there in the woods and I go out there with dogs on feet. Yeah, yeah. You got dogs? Yeah, that's yeah. But that don't mean nothing. Yeah, yeah. Shit, yeah, man. dog. It could be like twelve pigs out there. And you got four hogs. I mean, four dogs, and they run after that one hog. And we gotta think about all twelve in the hall. Where they gonna go at? The hall be leaving. They be running. Yeah, but you don't know which way they go run. You got four dogs, twelve hogs. One, they going after one. You got twelve on that now. You got eleven on that on scattered. Now they might be mad. They might come back and try to help their homeboy. Now we running behind the dog to go chase the dog because he chasing the hog. And now you got eleven. These motherfuckers mad as hell because we got the dogs here. So you ever been chased by one? I got chased by one. Hell yeah, up a tree. <laughs> <laughs> man, I ain't gonna put shit. You damn right. That what happened? Take, take me through it. What happened? What happened? Man, I thought the dog had the hog. And so when I went over there to go grab the hog, the damn dog let the hog go. And the bitch came and tried to get me. So I took off running. My dog couldn't help me. He was laughing at me. The dog was laughing? Nah, my homeboy. He was laughing at me. Because yeah. he was supposed to help me. He told me to go grab the hog from the dog. Cause it was my first time. You know what I'm saying? He's like, hey, yeah, just go grab the hog from the back of the leg. The dog got it. You know what I'm saying? He go work the head. So I went to go grab the hog. This bitch done spun around on me. The dog don't let the dog the hog go. So I'm like, fuck it. I done took all running, bitch. Fuck this hog. Brand chase your ass out of the tree. Brand chased me out the tree. My dog just laughing at me. Like my homeboy. Yeah, he's he laughing, laughing like a motherfucker like, at your ass. <laughs> Cause he done seen this shit before. You know what I'm saying? He done took me out here. He know these hogs do this, and he go let me go out there and try to grab this hog, knowing this dog ain't latched on to this hog yet. And I'm just doing what he told me to do. Go grab the hole. Just yeah. go grab the damn hole. Now hog. this hole finna grab me. And this is some crazy shit right here. Now what I'm gonna tell the story is tell my mama, hey man, y'all went out there and lost a couple fingers because this hole done bit me. That I is you talking even, about. Well, I wasn't even supposed to be out the house, man. Nah, for real, for real, man. Um, which, um, what you got coming up uh, next? Coming up next? Uh, right and wrong. No, give me some, yeah, give me, give us some, get a pot, man, some. You know what I'm saying? Right and wrong. We go come out with right and wrong. That's one of my 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 biggest country hits, I think. You know what I'm saying? Out of all my country songs I got, that's gonna be the biggest one. That's gonna wanna get the kids to go stomp their boots, you know what I'm saying? Stomp the boots in the club too, you know what I'm saying? You wear boots all the time? Not all the time, you know, I wear my crocs too. But when I'm out doing like, cause I do I go fishing, you know what I'm saying? I fish a lot. You can't get me off the fish creek, you know what I'm saying? Unless you make me do a project. Well, telling me, hey man, go go make your song at the studio. Other than that, you catch me on the fish creek. I got three boats. What kind of fishing pole you got? Deep sea, bass fishing, you know what I'm saying? Offshore, salt water, anything, anything. What's your favorite bait? Mullets. Cause Mullet. I catch sharks. Hold I on. I don't catch nothing small. Hold on, time out. Hold the fuck on. Y'all got alligators and sharks? And sharks. You got blue water right there. What the fuck? Hold on. God damn it. So you can't how what sharks taste like? I ain't never ate shark. You know, I said I just go out there for the thrill. They be big though. Yeah, they be big. They be hard to catch. Yeah. What's the hardest thing to catch besides a shark? Tarpon. And I only call it tarpon because I threw a net on top of it. I know how to cast net. 
Bro, the motherfucker be like this, don't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, for real, for real. Nah, for real, for real. I come down there and go fish. I come down, come down and get some of that shit, man. Ride around town with you in the tractor, man. You know what I'm saying? Smoke one while we ride around on the track, though, man. Let's get it. Get it. Feel it out. Get all the spots, man. Nah, hell yeah, yeah, <laughs> man. I think what you're doing is incredible, dog. I think the positivity that you're doing, uh, showing kids a different way, you know what I'm saying? Especially with you being a peer of, of them. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you got an old soul, dog. I can, I can tell you that. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't tell me you were 23, I'd have told you about 28, 29, or some shit. Like that. Same thing. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes people just act more mature. I know a lot of young niggas, bro. And young niggas' minds don't be that mature to be to say that, you know what, I know I'm 22, but I ain't with all this other stuff. Let me do this. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people dare to be different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? they rather be like everybody else because being different is not cool. You know what I'm saying? So everybody, rather, I'd rather, I'd rather do it over here. So for you having the, you know what I'm saying, the courage to be able to step out and say, I'm going to do this, I just want to definitely salute that, dog, and salute what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Tell you to keep doing your thing, man. Thank you, thank you. Tell everybody where they can follow you at. You can follow me on Instagram at NOC Menace. You know what I'm saying? That's NOC Menace. You know what I'm saying? The original country boy. Well, how you get your name? Tell me that before we get up. But how, how you get your name? I got my name because, you know, I'm from, I'm from Arcadia, Nocatee. You know what I'm saying? So, shorten up Nocatee. That's NOC. So, you know what I'm saying? I used to get in trouble when I was a kid. So, Menace to Dennis, you know what I'm saying? So I got, I took the menace from it, you know what I'm saying? So N O C Menace, <laughs> chasing yeah. them chickens through the people yards, you know what I'm saying? When they told me not to, nah, real, <laughs> go tell my grandma, I don't care. Yeah, I posted a chicken video, bro. <laughs> for sure, I'm gonna yeah. post them. Yeah, put on your story, man. Tag me in, <laughs> man. Nah, for real, for real, man. What about your YouTube? My YouTube, you can check me out on YouTube. That's N O C Menace too, you know what I'm saying? Spell it out for you, N O C Menace. You know what I'm saying? You can check it out. It's all over the place. Anything you want to say? Any shout outs you want to do before we get up out of here? Shout out to the team, man. Shout out to the family that can't be here and, and Lone Lil Mert, man. You know what I'm saying? We lost a soldier on the way up here. So, and Lone Lil take off too for pushing the brand. B.O.B. Can't say that enough, you know what I'm saying? If I, Lone you know, Lil Tate. I got to say, you know what I'm saying? B.O.B. You know Lone Lil so, man. Thank you for, you know what I'm saying? The fans giving me the opportunity, you know what I'm saying? To push my brand. Push my music, you know what I'm saying, to get to these kids. Man, I, I'm ready to rock out, man. I'm ready to show y'all my dream. Well, y'all y'all already know, man. You see in here in the apartment, the streets get it first all the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving it to you early now. How many I done brought y'all early? This is one of you better go ahead and get on it. You know what I'm saying? No, this is not no old town road shit. You feel me? You got to listen to this shit. This shit jam like trap music. You know, y'all know I don't lie. I don't lie. I don't, I don't stretch the truth. I tell you, I don't listen to about three, four fucking songs, and I like them. From the beats, this, this shit sound like trap shit. He just on some country shit. I don't know how it is. I'm going to keep listening, and I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out, God damn it. But I, I'm jamming with this shit now, for real, for real. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But y'all already know, man. Tap in, man. NOC, man. It's follow him. All platform. This your boy, Parley, man. Live in the apartment with Parley. Meet me in the apartments. <laughs>